Welcome back, everyone. Sorry for the later start time. Was having a, a little bit of IT issues. Tried to do a new use of Twitch new streaming thing, but unfortunately, it like killed my CPU. Uh, so we had to take a bit and get back on our regular one. Uh, we're back into invasion today, uh, session 21, actually, uh, with uh, wrapping up the Senate arc. So if you guys, uh, if any of you are Dungeon Jedi Master Patreons, uh, this is the uh, I forget what I called it, Treachery, uh, Invasion 4 uh, Adventures. So if you're following along there, uh, you could definitely kind of run it, see some inspiration and run it with your crew on that side. Uh, but yeah, nothing much to announce so far. So we'll get right into it. Do a little bit of a recap because it's been about a, I think about a month exactly since we played last. Uh, so uh, the crew... Uh, has been kind of across the galaxy, initially starting uh, in Vela, uh, as they had all been pulled to the planet uh, due to their own circumstances, some serving with the Republic, others gunned down with their Mandalorian compatriots, uh, and others still just uh, either doing the Black Sun or Zerka's bidding on the world. Uh, and while there, they uncovered a mysterious threat named the Yuzon Vong, who was invading the galaxy. The crew uh, managed to slay one of the warriors in combat, uh, but not before they were able to destabilize Vela's core uh, and set the planet to explode, uh, wiping out both the Republic fleet as well as the Sith Dominion, uh, who had been fighting over the resource-rich resource planet uh, for years. Uh, after this, the group uh, kind of went through the galaxy, uh, going to uh, another colony that had gone missing, Saiho, and helping to rescue a lot of the colonists from the invading Yuzon Vong, who seemed to be using the planet as almost a, a training ground for some of their untested soldiers. Uh, afterwards, uh, the group then went uh, and took a little bit of time to rest and got a contact uh, from one of... Uh, Vars' Mandalorian friends, uh, letting them know that a Crusader ship had been nabbed over Kashyyyk, uh, and that within, uh, they found a group of Crusaders of mixed species, humans, Wookiees, and Rodians, and kind of all the species of the galaxy crewing it. Uh, but within the hold, they found a group of Wookiee slaves who had been taken from Kashyyyk and implanted with the York Coral Control devices uh, that you all had come across during your time on both Saiho and Vela that seemed to turn sentient people into pretty much uh, droids with a restraining bolt in them. So I haven't trouble remembering what a restraining bolt name was. Uh, but you, you're uh, following those and... After that, decided to investigate Kashyyyk and learn more about the Crusaders. And with that, you found the Crusaders were a kind of almost paramilitary philosophy that's been spreading across some of the more warrior-like cultures of the galaxy. And they've been able to rise up and capture Kashyyyk. Uh, and while you're there, you found that it looked like the Crusaders and the Yuzon Vong were either directly working together or somehow were connected to each other uh, with uh, the Crusaders using Vong tech uh, to both enslave some of their people, but also bringing creatures, uh, humans, cre humanoids, as well as uh, just kind of jungle creatures from Kashyyyk down to a biome that you found uh, where a master shaper was uh, had been experimenting and breeding new monsters and war machines for the Yuzon Vong to employ. With that, you guys came across a pretty nasty uh, spider and giving uh, the group a uh, fear of both rocks and spiders. Uh, you all uh, narrowly made it through, uh, and on your way out uh, after slaying the, the Weishik spiders and uh, destroy the biome uh, crumbling and the master shaper uh, fleeing, uh, you all left Kashyyyk, but not before setting off some explosives and uh, taking down one of the worship tree's limbs. Uh, after all of this, you guys had another little bit of a respite where you guys got to pursue your own interest, uh, but the Republic put a call out. Uh, they wanted you all to come and testify, uh, go over what you've seen from this invasion, uh, see what, uh, kind of learn more about your own character to see if your words would hold up to scrutiny. Uh, and you guys were called back and answered the Senate's call, uh, going through, spending the first day testifying about yourselves and with the senators, uh, some appearing to be angling for blood and try to bring up uh, any embarrassing fact they could, could to uh, try to discredit you and put your testimony in the worst light. 
Uh, but the group did pretty well. Uh, you guys are able to uh, out talk them uh, and able to get some good political points as you guys made your cases for uh, both yourselves and why the Yuzon Vong should be feared. Uh, but after that first day of uh, kind of testimony on that side, the group did go outside where they found that there'd been massive protest uh, for those protesting the destruction of the worship tree on Kashyyyk uh, and crusaders mixed within uh, with uh, one of the crusaders using the opportunity to take one of Dash's homemade bombs and put it into the crowd uh, to make it look like uh, the group had caused their own terrorist attack. And his fortune had it, Dash uh, almost played along a little bit, uh, and threw his own grenade into the crowd, uh, causing an uprising uh, with a mixture of real civilians who were angered by the group's actions, and then uh, crusader operatives in the crowd uh, starting a firefight outside the Senate doors. Uh, the group proved victorious, uh, killing many of the crusaders and preventing many of the crowd from, uh, from being casualties of this uprising. And eventually were able to uh, kind of put that to rest. And then were event- and were, for most of the group were taken into custody uh, by uh, Coruscanti uh, Senate police. Uh, with uh, Dash uh, going on a, his own dash through the city, uh, running through and getting some crazy the acrobatics or athletics. I forgot which one we did in stealth scores. Uh, but uh, he was able to outrun uh, the police as well as some of the uh, news organization drones that were following him after his uh, latest exploit. Uh, but with that, the General Vet, one of your longtime allies from Vela, uh, was able to use kind of the last bit of his political capital uh, and not only get the four of you that surrendered out of jail, uh, but kind of clear the coast at least uh, as long as uh, Dash comes to and reports to the Senate uh, on uh, kind of reports to the Senate tomorrow to testify on the invaders and his own actions at the protest, uh, he would be free and kind of outside of uh, their public control at least until that testimony goes off. But that's uh, actually one last piece. Uh, with that too, you all uh, saw a kind of the next morning uh, after doing a lot of research into Dominion uh, attack patterns and uh, what's going on with the Dominion because the Dominion had been blamed for recent attacks uh, within both Republic space uh, as well as Heapen and Hut space. Uh, but you all dived into it and used your skills, finding that. Uh, the weapons used in the attacks uh, that kind of burnt the planets down to the kind of base delta zero of them, burned them to, to make sure they were no longer in habitable life, able to be sustained there, um, weren't Dominion tech. It couldn't be from the Dominion fleet patterns uh, and also uh, from a Dominion sources, uh, confirming that it was not them. Uh, and with that, the next morning, uh, as fate would have it, uh, one of your only contacts, the Dominion Lord Galvin, uh, actually killed a Republic general. Uh, it was caught on Holonet video doing so. Uh, but that general, or uh, the Sith Lord, did extend an invitation to the group, inviting you guys to come meet with them and find the true story. Uh, and according to Galvin, uh, the general that he caught was a, a former Dominion spy uh, that he'd come to suspect was a Yuzon Vogue operative. Uh, and he showed you guys pieces of the Uglith U- U- mascares, uh, which you guys found were the Yuzon Vong cloaking devices to make them appear as humans, Rodians, any of the other kind of humanoid-looking creatures uh, within the galaxy. Uh, he told you that many had infiltrated the Republic, uh, the Dominion-like, and they've been going on a little bit of a hunting spree to uh, root these traitors out before the, the full hammer of the invasion comes down. Uh, before you guys left there, the Lord Galvin, after see, uh, what's he, Darth Dominus, uh, through one of his uh, Praetorian guards, uh, invited Dash to join the Dominion, uh, letting him know that the Republic didn't appreciate him and may not have a home after that stunt uh, with the uh, the grenade. Uh, Dash said he'd take a little while to answer, 
Uh, and then uh, Dominus provides you guys both with uh, the data that it could show that the Dominion was not a part of those attacks, uh, as well as uh, a little bit of information on a potential gathering between a Dominion, uh, not Dominion, a invasion or Vader operative, a Yuzan Vong operative, uh, and another group. Uh, let me know that he believes that one of the senators uh, on the advisory council was either uh, in the Yuzon Vong's pocket or Yuzon Vong themselves. Uh, you guys made your way to the warehouse, uh, dropped like eight explosions uh, and grenade throws and around, uh, and burnt down uh, <laughs> Senator Teresa, uh, uh the Bothan senator, as you guys were blowing him to hell. Uh, you saw layers of the Ugul Mascara kind of burn away in the, the inferno, uh, leaving a very charred corpse, but luckily uh, with uh, Talus's and Var's video, uh, you were able to prove that it was a use on Vong uh, before it became unrecognizable. It would have been funny if it wasn't. <laughs> we just covered and assassinated the man. It was just like, just like oh, it would have been really bad. <laughs> we deceived. Oh no, the Sith had deceived us. And then campaigns the- end if everyone's in jail and can't get out. Is that? I think oh. you'd all have to join the debate at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jailbreak. Uh, well, we no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, so that's where we'll pick up. Uh, the group has evidence to present to the senators. They prove that Tree saw the senator from Bothway uh, was a Yuzon Vong operative. Uh, they prove the Dominion was not part of the attacks. And now all you have to do is convince the Senate to kind of go along with you. Uh, but yeah, so before uh, we go to the Senate trial, the Senate hearing, is there anything the PCs you guys want to do first? Um. So in my notes, we have this thing about Saber Breaker. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. So uh, okay. it was uh, so uh, Lord Galvin's actually let you know about that as well, uh, that he found uh, during his time snooping uh, in the general's office before the authorities came, uh, that there was an operation that wasn't under uh, the general's or tree saw's control, but one that they appeared to be watching, uh, one called Saber Breaker, uh, that seemed to be initiated between the government of the Republic as well as Zerka. Uh, didn't have any details on what it did, but uh, with uh, the name Saber Breaker, uh, definitely something that would be concerning to a Sith or probably most Force users on that side, or just concerning in general with Zerka involved. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I work for these guys, but <laughs> paycheck's a paycheck. You got another job opportunity. Well, yeah, I suppose we could do that instead. Although, or wasn't that just Dash? He invited everybody, but uh, I have a special invitation to Dash. Hmm. We'd have to we'd have to go over the finer details of that one. I'm sure we've got contracts. We've got to. Do something with her circle. Take I all mean, the the Republic's still bickering over the existence of the Vong, whereas yeah. the the Dominion is like, oh, they exist, and we're gonna root them out. By the way, we've done a pretty good job so far. Also, Republic, there's uh, some guys over there too that are Vong. We're just gonna go ahead and just swoop right in and take care of that for you. I mean, come on, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's a little embarrassing, right? Like, it's, yeah, best. you're not wrong. So, speaking of which, all this speaking of which, uh, there is something uh, Caesar would like to do before going to the council, and that is the uh, the the Senate, not the council. Messed up there. And that is talk to Dash, but if anyone ha- has anything else they want to do first, now's the time to speak up. I mean, right now, we've, we've got everything on... Um what raw footage so i don't know if we have time to um go back to the nova Cana and maybe uh i don't know clean it a little bit or what have you to make it a little bit more presentable but um if we don't have time i think it's it's good enough i i have um data cards on me so i can just stick I'll, it on that I'll, I'll tell you right now i'm pretty sure vars is in the the camp of I want to I want to make those uh, stuffy shirts squirm in their seats. Oh yeah, 
So yeah, the gorier the better. Whatever. Oh no, it just matters. Oh, I, don't know. I wasn't gonna clean it up like that. I was gonna. I was gonna. You know, do some music. <laughs> We're gonna do some movie magic. Add some music. <laughs> oh yes, Blu-ray. Did we we caught we stunned the last guy right or knocked him out? Cut off some append uh, limbs. Yeah, if you guys did we... take knock the last. Um, you, you guys killed Teresa, but you guys did yeah. take one of the kind of his like operatives with him or uh, alive. Yeah. yeah, and then it was that we took was there part of the uh, the Uglith? Master oh no, that thing. that got burned away by multiple. Oh, okay, I was just saying there was some sort of sample <laughs> to grab to analyze or something, but okay. Think about that. Yeah, I forgot Think about, about that next time before we burn everything to the ground, right? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's well, the one guy, the one captured guy, should at least kind of prove our case for us. Like, well, if we're wrong, who the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> I actually completely forgot about him, so. Well, we tried. I tried to, tried to take one alive. Dragging him through you. security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to explain that one, but he's definitely not cleared so, for anything. But are we tossing the Vong in an overcana, or are we dragging this armless alien with us to the Senate? Oh, we're taking him. I'll carry his arm. <laughs> what time? What time is it? Like, I guess yeah. Were we going able to go back to the Novacana, or are we up for? talking soon so you guys it is kind of early uh, like soon this morning so you guys probably wouldn't have time to, like, to do like a professional editing job but you could probably like cut it down a little bit and you do have time to do a quick stop over at the novocana okay cool yeah i'm gonna make a copy okay. just in case you know somehow the transition between my hand and you know <laughs> the review of what i provide is lost so um that's really the goal here not the 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 whole editing procedure but then um also so we can stock up as well if there's anything that we need if we've got anything to bind this guy so he doesn't run away or or try to grab us or bite us or whatever I mean, he's got left he can't grab us Jesus is gonna remind everyone that he's got he probably has that plate in his neck just turn his head the right way and kill himself yeah so he does have teeth yeah. Watch me, guys. Okay. Can well, we remove you just... that plate? Do we know about that? You guys, no, you guys came across it once, so that's actually a fair yeah. thing to look for. Yeah, <laughs> quick surgery. Quick surgery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna do this here. So, well, I guess it doesn't need to be sanitary. These guys yeah. could have done it on the way back, since we're just walking through the streets with an armless dude. It won't take that long. <laughs> take that long. He just needs to. He just needs to survive the trial. After that, very who cares? simple. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So we'll just drag him back and do it. Then is that I'm the... totally checking that arm in it baggage? <laughs> Security, uh, I... you have anything? There you go. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the Republic to turn out to be supporting the Yuzon Bone. <laughs> no, <God. laughs> no, what, oh, what, I'm shit. Wait, what I'm waiting for is for like, oh, do you have any arms to to turn over? <laughs> And, and Dash is <laughs> plopping one on there. Oh, you mean these? Oh, you meant weapons. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, anyway, someone help me with this body. He's kind of heavy. <laughs> I'm dragging this guy back to the ship. But as you guys kind of move through uh, the various districts of Coruscant uh, in a pretty schemed out uh, air taxi driver, uh, as you guys bring uh, your Yuzhan Vaughn captive from the works uh, back into the Senate district where your ship is, uh, you get a lot of stares. Uh, a lot of people going like, is that the guy from the Holonet recording? Is that Dash? <laughs> uh, and you see just kind of like a lot of like uh, some awe, some panicked uh, you see a lot of people like a, a group of uh, Rodians just kind of flee as they see you guys come through with the harmless man uh, but you do make it back to your ship uh, I could, uh, are you guys bringing him with or are you guys oh, actually, are you searching him for the uh, kind of the suicide of him uh, yeah definitely this guy needs to live unless I kill him right now <laughs> <laughs> Give me an investigation with advantage. 
investigation. Can I attempt boost this as well? Oh yeah, you got that. All right. Uh, advantage. Put myself. Nice. Solid. Yeah, you do find that he's got kind of another of those little, uh, almost like little kill switches at his neck, uh, where if he turns just right, he can kind of pierce his own neck. Uh, are you, uh, you've done the surgery to take it out. Are you going to take it out? Yeah. Um, so it, I would just be there with like the tweezers and like this microscopic or microscope lens just doing this. And I just go tink into like a little tiny tray. I'm just like, hmm, all right. And then I'll do just do a really quick um, suture on his neck. Suture. suture. Give me uh, a medicine check. Medicine check. All right. How is this so low? I'm a doctor. Uli's just oh. watching him while he can I, can I help him take it all in. For everyone, uh, I don't think he needs it. <laughs> no. Talos expertly cuts in and takes out the the plate, suturing him back up, uh, and keep leaving him in as relatively good shape as you can be for having go ahead and experienced an explosion and lost multiple arms that day. Uh, but he won't die from that. <laughs> so Dash yeah. comes in with like a crate of explosive materials and a lighter and be like, ooh, I know how to take care of this. <laughs> you just like wave me away. <laughs> um, do we have a, can we just like put a sack over his head? I really, I really <laughs> want, I really want to go for the dramatic effect and reveal the face. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll bag him. Why not? Over the head, right? Just whatever. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to see. He just needs to exist. Just should we use a, a plastic bag, or me. should we use like a breathable? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like a black garbage bag. No, yeah, of oh. course, a sack, not a not a plastic bag. Well, we did just save his life, so it's definitely time yeah. to put a plastic bag over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Poke uh, two in, holes in there for his eyeballs. So he can <laughs> see in, in the meanwhile, while all of this is happening and we're putting the garbage bag over this guy, uh, Caesar is going to go up to Dash and he doesn't say anything initially, just gives him the look of, you want to talk? And uh, so kind of assuming Dash kind of knows what's coming. Uh, he tries to like play it off and he like waves with, uh, you know, not his arm. And he goes, Hey, man, what's Caesar? What's going on, man? Hey, uh, how you doing? Ah, your sense of humor never ceases to amuse me. But, Dash, my old friend, I saw the way you looked. I held my tongue in there, but you considered the offer. Please, I will not judge you, nor will I turn you in. Talk to me. Yeah, so Dash will shrug. He goes, I mean, really, what's the difference? Republic, Dominion, I've killed for one. Why can't I kill for the other? It's the only thing I'm good at. At least they won't mock and criticize me. Would you like to sit down? Yeah, he would have a seat. And uh, he'll sit right next to him. Dash, I, I, will tell you, so I will tell you the truth of the matter. And this is not me trying to convince you one way or the other. It is merely the truth of having fought on both sides. The Republic will never love you. It will never respect you. It will never give you what you need. That is your job for the Republic. To give the people what they need. To give them the love. To give them the respect. To sacrifice yourself for them. You will never get that in return. But you will give them hope. Another day. Another chance at life. Freedom. But in the Dominion, you would be loved and feared and respected, criticized, yes, 
but understood. A man like you, had you been in the Republic, I would have been afraid of you, and I would have loved you, just as I do now. You would go far, and you would likely have rivals who try to come for your throat, and you would have to defend yourself. And you would be powerful. But he would work for Dominus, and the people he bring into the fold, they would not be enslaved, but they would not be free. They would not miss freedom either. I know why I change sides, but this I understand. It is a heavy choice, a heavy thought. So please, think it through and do understand. I am loyal to you and wherever you stand, I will have to stand with you. Dash will kind of take that in for a sec. Kind of look down at the ground really think, um, kind of lift his head back up and go, Commander, you've always been there for me. I do appreciate that. And then you'll just kind of nod, go, where you go, I go. This is not my choice to make. Not for you. I take your orders right now. Size. Because you're right. They're never going to love me. But I know that I do good work. Even when it doesn't seem like it, even when it's dirty, even when it keeps me up at night, I know at the end of the day it's good work. And I'm going to keep doing that good work. And we should stay right here in the Republic. And so I will stand with you. In the Republic. And we will do good work, even if they say we don't. He just kind of nods and looks solemn for a minute. And then kind of see, he kind of just puts his, his mask back on. He kind of perks up takes the arm, puts it on your shoulder, goes, all right, Commander, back to work. Back to work. <laughs> ah. A shame there's not enough time for interrogations. <laughs> oh. he, he kind of perks up a little bit, and he goes, maybe I have time to make a bomb or two. And then he kind of wa wanders off. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, sweet. Uh, rest of the crew, anything you all want to do before heading out to the, well, at least the last trial the Senate you guys have to do for a bit? <laughs> Knowing you guys, there will probably be some more things the Senate wants to talk to you about. But <laughs> uh, Don't make promises you can't keep. Um, <laughs> I definitely made a copy, and um, I have I have a data chip. Uh of everything that we saw with the senator that we barbecued um and everything else nothing's nothing censored everything's in there we have no reason to hide our actions and i'll relay that to the rest of the crew and i'll just kind of um sit in the cockpit until we're ready to leave and just engage with uh jarvis just a little bit making sure that all systems are are good and uh kind of checking him out making sure that he's not trying to take over the galaxy <laughs> Invasion number two, and um, yeah, how'd you guess season two? Yeah. Reapers, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what they were running from the whole time <laughs> when they came here. Oh, shit. Uh, remind me again when they when we encountered them in that uh warehouse, that abandoned place, were they speaking at all in their own language? They were, uh, so I think it was just uh. 
Who learned it? Was it just Uli? Because yeah, Caesar wasn't uh, there. Caesar, Caesar knows it. Yeah. But yeah, he wouldn't have been there. Was Talos? But, no, uh, Talos knows it too, right? Who's the other one that knows it? It's either Uli or Talos. Uli okay. Knows, okay. Right. Uli learned it, and so did Caesar. Mm -hmm. Caesar and him kind of. Caesar learned it first, and then he and he kind of. But the uh, footage exists. But so, I mean, my thing. thinking was we didn't give anybody any way to understand what the hell they're saying, did we? Uh, Mandalorians got a bit of the footage. The Mandos did, but not the Republic, so these yeah. people are speaking gibberish, <coughs> essentially. I think Uli would just go rummage around the ship trying to find um, anything, and then eventually maybe stumble upon the uh, the vocoder mask the thing and it just tried to like okay we've got to we got to figure out some way to actually get them to understand what they're saying and you'll try to see if there's time to code in the basics yeah. syntax semantics for the language i mean might not be enough time but do you, anything I, to help our case do you want to do you want <clears throat> it's in character why not do you really want to tip your hand like that because I'm going to wager that the, the Vong have got more operatives sitting in that Senate floor. It's kind of nice that we know what they're saying, but they don't know that we do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You think the fact that they're just saying anything at all in a different language that they don't understand would be enough? Yeah, I mean, you've got representatives from half-ish the galaxy. And if nobody mm -hmm. recognizes the language, they're gonna, that's going to perk ears no matter what. I don't know, maybe somebody else can figure out how to speak it, but it's it's nice having that bit of a tactical advantage on them. I don't as small try. as it might be. I'm not very good at reading people, I don't think. But if somebody does recognize the language versus somebody that does, uh, or somebody doesn't recognize it versus somebody that does, we might get very different reactions from certain individuals all right mm -hmm. hey. fair enough uh and everybody hey. roll an intelligence to save too S intelligence what save save ah dang Ooh, big nice. brain moves <laughs> <laughs> nope well, Caesar, Dash, and Talos all kind of have the realization at the same time. It makes sense, especially... Well, actually, all three would probably... Uh, Caesar, Dash, you know, the time of the Republic, and Talos, I feel like he's probably the only one that somewhat, like, watches the news at all. Uh, there are a ton of protocol droids in the Senate to translate things that are going on. Uh, and with you guys recognizing the language is from... Or it was very similar to a language within this galaxy... Uh, there's a good mm. chance that the protocol droids have put it together before, or, or at least probably loudly and announce it to someone. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Dash will just kind of chime in and go, one of the droids are going to figure it out. The question to be asked is when the droid does figure it out, ask the droid what language it is. Let that sit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Is the answer I expect? Yeah. The classic deception. Yeah, make, I mean, it, make them believe we didn't even know. Plus, that might be bad if we know what they're saying and try to suggest. <laughs> they're clearly saying that it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. so uh, guilty of all crimes. Yeah, it's How convenient for us. Better, uh, <laughs> it was translated as language only I the Republic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just a thought. It'd be maybe they need some resource to go with it, but maybe not translating it for them is a better idea. Yeah, the, the, the droids translating it to, I love the Republic. We should leave the Yuzong Vong and join the Republic permanently. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least one good thing about the Yuzong Vong is that the droids will always be on your side. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ooh, true. True. <laughs> Though it would be funny if this guy went to the public and basically said, hey, listen, I know you're dealing with the Dominion. We hate those guys too. Why don't we join forces? <laughs> I said that was funny, Tegan. I, I, 
I, I I can only imagine like the like I'm the the chancellor's name escapes me, but he hates the minion so damn much that that thought's gonna cross his mind. <laughs> just just a little just a little worm crawling in his head. Like, well, they might be bad, but hey, they hate the minion too. <laughs> they're not well, they're not, they're not yeah. <laughs> that, they're, actually they we hate force users yeah they're they're not occupying mon call we <laughs> hate force users hey guys i got a great idea yeah. <laughs> i love the i love the wording of a little worm in his head oh yeah i do <laughs> yeah i hope that's just a catchy winky dink all right well <laughs> Perfect. Well, you all are, uh, after getting your copies of the data, uh, oh, and actually, I forgot to mention two Dash and Caesar. I put a couple of inspo into uh, with the guys' uh, talk earlier uh, into the tank. You guys are topped off. Uh, but, yeah, you guys are able to make your way uh, to the Senate. <laughs> uh, carry, or, oh, actually, I'll, I'll let you guys describe this. How are you bringing said prisoner in tow? The armless prisoner uh, with a sack over his head. <laughs> we can't put um, cubs on him and drag him that way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can hear me out. Yeah. He's carrying one half of him. I would say maybe put a harness on him, like tie one with a rope and kind of just like, you know, have like the handle be at the back and just manhandle him in. Oh, are you guys like, making him conscious? I mean, all right, well, that's another He's question. Still, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Do we take off one of his legs so he can't run away? Mm. I'm trying to no. figure out where the handcuffs are. All right. Are. Yeah, like my thing was in the heat of battle. You're just like thinking about medical amputation because <laughs> lol, funny. Besides, I'm in the mindset. Hand of him people. over to the Republic and let them do it. Yeah, right. If they want to. Anyone seen the endoparasitic? Yeah. No. Dang. Uh, that would have been funny if you had. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you got you guys want to carry him in, maybe wake him up when we get in there. We need yeah. to wake him up. We just need to show him, present him as evidence and a prisoner. Let them do deal I with him. I mean, I kind of want the dramatic reveal of, him, of, of the of the Vong losing his crap on the Senate floor, <laughs> vowing to destroy all of them in a language they don't understand. Yeah, you that, know? Would, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, be ready to kill him because we can't let him actually hurt somebody. That would oh, be no, no, no. That's what I'm talking very about. Bad. The, the the harness, you know, kind of keep him this on on a, on a, on a yeah. He's gonna be this arm. We okay. should tell what? him to speak into the camera and and say how much he likes the the Republic and see how he responds to that technology in his face. <laughs> yeah. These ideas all sound like good ideas if you're not the one actually holding the guy while he tries to <laughs> I, rage. I will hold him. Do not worry. Can you manage it? He's or, pretty strong. I am I'm quite tough. I mean, not, you know, well, all right. <laughs> Are you? No, no. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure. on one well. side of this guy. <laughs> Caesar wants to get on the other one. That's fine too. But yeah. I, I'm not leaving this guy's side. Right. Not while other people are around. He can hurt them. Okay. And well, let's be honest. He probably will when we shove things he doesn't like in his face. I mean, be before we bring him in, one last, uh, one last like look over his body to see if he has any sort of anything that he can detonate or trigger while he's in there. Because the last thing we want to do is deliver. Hey guys, we we did it. We uh, we stomped <laughs> it out, and then you know, kill thirty senators. See, because they wanted to be dramatic. <laughs> you guys, uh, with that investigation, you, you were positive he doesn't have anything on him. Uh, you guys saw that he fought you rather than doing the bonus breath. Uh, so you, you're pretty confident he doesn't have plague beetles in his stomach. So, all right. Plague beetles? That's oh, yeah, yeah you, you missed that. Session. You missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that's one thing I didn't come to recap. I think I didn't catch that. Oh, yeah, so uh, you guys, in, in the video that uh, Lord Galvin showed you, uh, the general took a deep breath and beetles started to emerge. Or kind of started, took a deep breath, let it out, and beetles started to kind of pop into the air. But as soon as that happened, one of his guys threw a grenade in and burned it. Yeah, I heard that. I didn't know they were called plague beetles. Oh, uh, I call them the, uh, and the, the reason I've all called them the, the BOTUS, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, you can listen to some of the audio it. tapes for those just to see how they pronounce stuff. <laughs> 
the thing is, yeah, I've always on, wanted to do that. Just to be like, am I doing this right? <laughs> depending on the author, you're going to get like six different pronunciations, man. <laughs> like, depending on the reader, it's Hoth. <laughs> planet Hoth. Yeah, that was like, that was, <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one. And I, I listened to like the the sort of the sort of true series on audiobook. I don't know how many different ways I heard the name Kalen, Colin, Colleen. I look. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, you're 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 rolling the dice. I'm gonna use bonus. That sound at least that looks like how it's pronounced to me. But yeah, so you guys saw the the, the general took a deep breath in uh and uh tried to let that out when his cover was blown, but was blown up. Uh, and I think you guys found remains or remnants of it within uh, the senator's body, but with him being like kind of a uh, 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 rude, uh, he, uh, he there wasn't really much to study on that side. Ah, that's charcoal and skeleton. Yo, boy. Perfect. Well, you guys approach the Senate halls. Uh, you see, uh, they've got you going to like a, they've got like a special little hover car entrance for you guys this time uh, to kind of keep you, to keep the public away from you and you away from the public this time. Uh, but they, uh, they've got the special uh, little landing pad. Uh, but as you fly over, uh, you see many people with protest sides, uh, some saying down with Dominion, some uh, protesting you all in particular. Uh, you see uh, kind of uh, signs and effigies of yourselves within the crowd. Uh, some seem to be kind of favorable towards you, but uh, definitely quite a bit seem to be uh, kind of protesting you it, it, it yourself. So kind of dialed with Dash, dialed with Vars, uh, the Gungan guillotine needs to die, uh, all, all of that kind of uh, around uh, the signs. Is, these are the, the people of the Republic voice, their, give you their voice uh, ahead of your trial. Uh, but luckily with this time, you get... <laughs> Uh, and I've actually got a gungan and a guillotine for it too, just uh, to really bring it home. Uh, well, that's but... a very insensitive caricature. That's, that's not nice. <laughs> hey, but we're uh, we're famous. Look at that. Not exactly how I imagined it, but well, oh, no, no there. offense to any of you, but I already was before this. This is normal. It'll. it'll <laughs> Famous, not infamous. <laughs> They're the same the thing. <laughs> no, I'm, but okay. Same difference. I would not mutually you guys. <laughs> famous, not what infamous. Was that? Infamous, not famous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least for now. But uh, you all are able to make it over the the protesting hordes uh, into the Senate chambers, uh, where you see kind of a, a group of both Senate guards awaiting you, uh, and General Vet himself, uh, along with uh, Master Kalu. Uh, and the the general looks pretty tired. The Bothan Jedi Master kind of has a sly smile on his face, uh, but General Vet just looks like uh, he hasn't slept in the, like weeks. Uh, and Vet goes. And kind of, he looks, he kind of sees you guys disbored and looks supremely relieved uh, when he sees Dash and Mike, you guys. Uh, he goes, at least that Griffin went right. Good to see you all. Glad you all didn't skip the planet, blow up a zoo, or wh wh whatever the criff else you guys do. But I'm glad you're back here. Uh, and then he kind of sees the bagged uh, man with no arms. Uh, and, he, and he kind of sees his face fall. What the criff is that? The... You were half right. It wasn't a zoo. <laughs> Just the sun. Although it could have been a zoo. Hmm. Next time, Jenner. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. But uh, we picked up a friend. Thought the Senate might want to see him. Yeah. The Senate spent so much time questioning if the Vong even exists. We decided to bring some proof in the flesh. On top of the living proof here in the, fre uh, the flesh, we've also got some additional footage, two different additional types of footage, because we've also got the footage uh, that we got from Lord Gallup, and then we've also got the footage from the warehouse location. 
Do you that wasn't in, that wasn't in character. Oh, I have I have I have both of those. I have both of those on me. So I, I got a little scared there mentioning Lord Galvin. I didn't yeah. I didn't mention Lord Galvin. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't we have like a, a force technique or something to find them now too? You do. So is that like what a? Yeah, I just figured I'd mention that because it's been a while. But I, I, I think the the force. Well, we only have one force user, but I think. You can or, that. I thought that we were working on a project where you could scan and find you force users. Is that what? No, uh, so the force users could do it. Uh, you guys are looking for? Well, Talos mentioned working on a project to find a way to sniff out the the Ugluf massacres. Uh, uh, but yeah, though the force you can do it. I think it was a DC fifteen force check. I remember right. I have to look uh, okay. my notes for that, but I think it was a fifteen. All right, so I've got that one. Uh, he goes, uh, "You found one of them bastards on planet. I, I th thought that they impounded your ship. It was on planet, no, no. and talking to one of the senators. No, no, no Crawford, wait, what's?" What are the... also, also, the senator was a Yuzon Vong in disguise as well. He kind of looks around the group, uh, and he looks to uh, kind of a uh, Uli Vars and Talos. He kind of lays in and goes, the legit? It's not yes. floating blue puffs or named grenades or... Uh, <laughs> war we'll crimes. Show you when we get in there. <laughs> It's true. You know, and this, we have this is one of the first times you've offended me. Well and truly. There were six of them. We got the last one right here. I mean, I guess you could kind of call it treason, but that's a bit of a loose definition, I think, at this point. Right? Oh, you so guys took out the senator? See, well, see, General, here's the thing. All right, I'll admit, going in was 50-50. Is he the senator? Is he not the senator? Maybe. But then we blew him up, and we found out he wasn't the senator. So it's okay. Well, I mean, he, but he, but he, he was. was the senator. Yeah. But he wasn't. He was impersonating him. They had you... some sort of weird jelly-like thing that I guess made him resemble another species. Yeah. Instead of a human, it was a bothan. Listen, I wasn't there, but I have seen the photo. Trust me, they're telling the truth. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a criffin long day. Uh, I just gotta see him shake his head and go... <sighs> Good work, though. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun one to break to them that one of the advisors on uh, senators on the advisory council, one of the, the calmer voices too, was, was the Fong operative and all. Well, drinks after this on me if we're not thrown into prison. Hey. <laughs> oh, worst case scenario, it turns out the Republic and the Vong are working together the whole time. <laughs> oh, I hadn't even considered that one. Oh. <laughs> it was just holding the guy tightly, like, damn it, this just keeps getting worse. You see Vet's <laughs> face falls, and he looked tired before, but the general now just looks exhausted. Uh, and you hear Kalu kind of in the background, uh, the Bothan Jedi Master go, oh. Well, my friends, uh, let us not add stressors before uh, they come to pass. Hopefully, the Senate is slow, glacially slow as it can be. We'll see a reason and start moving in the right direction with all the proof you've assembled. For now, let's not make enemies where they don't exist. I could still shave a few more years off of its life. <laughs> I mean, then you should probably chin up. We're gonna make a lot of senators look real stupid in a few minutes. So that ought to book up some perk in your step. You see a smile go, uh, give him hell. 
they've been busting our chops for the last month. Uh, rub, rub the nose is in it, and he kind of looks over it. Not literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, after that, uh, you see him kind of go uh, and uh, dress down one of the Republic guards, uh, and uh, they allow you guys to escort or move into. Uh, the Senate uh, after oh actually before they let you in uh, one of the guards will uh, he'll kind of look across the group and say uh, please surrender your weapons uh, we will have them under lock and key uh, we have our elite guard maintaining this operation this time uh, there will not be any any unforeseen eventualities but we still cannot permit you to bring weapons into the Senate hall could I bring my mouth mushroom this time? Uh, kind of see, like he looks over, like he looks confused. Uh, and General Vet just kind of gives like a small shake of his head, like. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I would need a drink for this one, and he sets it down. Uh, did you see General Vet pipe up? But it will, I'll get you a real drink uh, when we get that. Like. like uh, Krillian whiskey, like I've got a good spot down there. We can get you some some real stuff. You don't need to mix it with mouthwash, even just just good 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 stuff. Try it. <laughs> you guys get out of this without me going to jail with you. I, I'll mix a drink with mouthwash with you. I hope you to it. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, are you guys sort of your weapons, I should say? Uh, Uli's just going to very tightly still have the Vong and be like, oh, well, if you want him, you're going to have to take him off me because I'm not letting go of this guy. He's too dangerous. <laughs> like, I'm not, I, I won't, I won't fight you, but I can't, I can't let go of this guy. It's for your safety and mine. Uh, that goes, yeah, you can bring him in. Yeah, just make sure you surrender your weapons, but feel free to bring him in. Yeah, Dash will surrender his weapons. Don't worry. If I need them, I'll take them. And he'll give over his weapons. Oh, How yeah, far is this armory where we're surrendering our weapons from the uh, the Senate, where we'll be? I like a 10 minute walk. <laughs> okay. Uh, my weapon is an interesting one. It is the Shoulder Blaster. And it is a mounted weapon, and I have the confounding attachment on it, which gives it this disguised and hidden property. And Caesar is wearing his armor this time because we're bringing a falling into the Senate. <laughs> All right, uh, roll me a uh, with hidden. Uh, roll me a sleight of hand check with advantage. Yeah. Or you can do uh, disguise too. It has both of them. Uh, what's disguise? Deception with advantage. Yes. I have wrist blasters as well that I think have the disguise property. Wherever you have your uh, bringing them in, uh, roll deception with advantage. Okay, I'll try to bring them in. Just because I don't want to take them off. Oof. Perfect. Uh, so who, uh, so Uli, uh, you make it through kind of uh, the, the search without any difficulty. They don't really seem to uh, to even notice uh, the wrist blasters. Uh, as uh, Caesar, as you go through, uh, you see one of those kind of rub the scanner over and have it ping. Uh, they go kind of looking at the, uh, the, the shoulder mounted device. You kind of see the like, quizzical look and go text tripping with this. Uh, fortunately, I don't think we can have you bring this in. Caesar will hold up his missing hand. Uh, where the, it's the same arm that has the uh, larger pauldron as it's disguised as, and he'll hold that up just like it's something to help with the pain. All right, uh, give me a deception check. <laughs> One higher. <laughs> <laughs> you see him shake his head. We can get you some back to if you like, uh, but unfortunately, you kind of see it in the beeps again. Beep, beep. <sighs> Can't let you bring it in. Uh, I don't well, know if you guys. I have, 
I have to this robe now. I, I hope you'll understand this. It is part of my armor. I have to this robe and then put on my good dress. Uh, th thankfully, I have my my clothes here with me, just in case something happened. You have, and uh, he'll he'll just kind of go on from there. Uh, yeah, we got a good fresher station over here. We'll we'll let the senators know. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, not, nothing on you on that side. Ah, thank you. Uh, Talus is also going to be wearing his armor this time underneath the way that he usually does underneath his Zambar and kind of like lab jacket slash formal attire. Um, I'm going to give all my weapons except also my wrist blaster, uh, which is disguised. So is that a roll with advantage, you said? Yeah, so if you're keeping wrist blaster, uh, sleight of hand with advantage. Okay. Nice. Oh, this no, Wrist Blaster is disguise, so it would be deception with advantage. Oh, okay. So what's your deception <laughs> modifier? Very or, good. Uh, uh, negative one. Uh, so 19, uh, you're still good to go. Okay. They're just um, asking for uh, weapons, right? Yeah, they're like your armor, yeah. Okay. Are they going to take my really janky-looking backpack? Uh, are there are there weapons? Because uh, is that where your corrosive spray and all that comes from? <clears throat> it's kind of internal. It's not like it's obvious. All the hoses are tucked in, and everything looks <laughs> really nice and neat. I mean, we are going in front of the Senate, you know. Um, if not, um, would it be possible to take my wrist pad without? Oh, any you can definitely take your wrist pad with you. Yeah. Okay, well, that that limits some of my choices, but I will. Um, with a very sad face, uh, put my backpack down. Perfect. You guys, uh, as you take your gear off, uh, it's rendered to the Republic of Soldiers. Uh, you're ushered into uh, the same waiting room you were brought to the day before. Uh, and for a while, you guys just kind of wait. Uh, you were scheduled, and you guys arrived in time for your appointment. Uh, but like 15, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes pass. Uh, and still no one comes uh, until about like about just just under shy of an hour. Uh, you do see a Republic guard come out and say, uh, "The senators will see you now. Please, right this way." Wait, uh, what's your name? Uh, he goes Vance. Vance, hmm. you have identification on you. Because he looks quizzical. I have trooper. Uh, RC-364, the public guard to the Senate. Uh, don't, I cannot show you my credentials, officer. Uh, you're a guest of the Republic at the moment, uh, but feel free to look me up on your free time. Uh, he, he uh, Caesar wants to do just a very quick insight check just to make sure that this isn't some kind of trap. Oh, yeah, go for it. Nice. Yeah, he seems nervous, uh, but not nervous like he's plotting a trap or anything. Uh, he, he kind of looks at you guys. Uh, he doesn't, he does not sure what you all are gonna do. Uh, so he kind of like he seems wary. Uh, so uh, he kind of seems like he was looking, uh, kind of like at you guys, see how you would react, uh, to being asked to come in. But you definitely don't get any signs of, uh, you know, like he's preparing to fight. Uh, you don't see any kind of like battle stances, anything like that. Uh, his body outside of like a anxious for lack of a better word to put it, uh, is uh, it's pretty loose. Uh, it looks I like see. he's. At, at ease, soldier. Just wanted to be careful. After last time and the incident, you understand. See him nod and kind of quietly uh, go, yeah, me and the boys uh, had three to one odds you guys would sneak grenades in, so please don't bring grenades in. <laughs> no promises. Did you? Did you bet for or against? Because uh... I bet against because I lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much you bet? Hundred grand. <laughs> Can you put more on it? Is it too late? You guys see him scratch his chin and go. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll see if I can get him double or nothing. 
<laughs> so Dash is going to reach behind him and say, you lost that bet. And he's going to like pretend like he's going to pull out a grenade and throw it to him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to look at the group. They're still funny. <laughs> Caesar's losing his mind. He's wheezing. Like... He tries not to laugh, but can't help. It. <laughs> you yeah. see the Republic of Guard, his face fell, like went pale. He was starting to reach for his blaster before he saw that there was nothing there. Uh, and he goes, very yeah, funny, sir. Uh, funny. Very funny. Don't worry, man. The two most dangerous things in this room are right here. I'm just holding me and the Vong together. <laughs> Trust me. You don't want this thing getting loose. He goes, uh, yeah, just, yeah. Uh, well, hopefully I'll have some credits. Uh, but yeah, just, don't do anything crazy. Uh, uh, but here, here we go. Let, me, uh, let me bring you in. They're, they're ready for you. And it's, uh, it's a pretty tense mood in there. So uh, just, just, just be ready. Why the oh, delay? Uh, yeah, many senators uh, running late. Uh, you see him <laughs> not go. Yeah, they, they've been looking all over for tree size. Not answering his comms. Uh, they delayed it for him as long as they could, but gotta get the show on the road. We should probably sort of talk them about that. What about the grid reveal? Where's your showmanship, <laughs> Caesar? Come on. That that died about thirty minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, well, neither way. We're going to make an impression. You really need that mouthwash, don't you? <laughs> we need to, we need to I, have a talk I about am, that. I am There's better ways to... Uh, <laughs> it is not an issue. Yet. Yeah, yeah the yet part... Uh, anyway, we got... <laughs> well, it won't be my there. issue. It will be everyone else's. Yeah, that's kind of... Well, I mean, what alarms me? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So we take exhibit Arik into into town. Show the show the Senate what we found. If we go to jail, it's been nice knowing you guys. <laughs> it really has. Oh, but been... I swear I'm escaping the second I can and I will leave you all behind. <laughs> I'm not going to jail again. Been there once and I'm sure the Republic jails are nicer than the Dominion ones, but it jail's jail. Dominion jail. <laughs> I'll pretend you didn't laugh at me for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys. Squeeze tighter and drag the Vong along. You all are able to kind of get escorted through uh, the, the kind of the, the, the corridor leading to your own little senatorial pad. Uh, and your hover pad takes off. Uh, you see the full Senate greeting you with the four members of the or the four remaining members of the advisory council uh, arrayed in front of you. Uh, you see the uh, the Saudi Hut Lord representative from Hut Space to one side. You see the director from Zerka to the other as well, uh, and you see that kind of the Supreme Chancellor Oveno. Uh, actually, everybody, give me an insight check as you guys kind of make your way up and see the senators looking down upon you. Three? I just got the toilet down not by a second ago. <laughs> Perfect. Well, uh, Vars, uh, Vars and Uli, you get a good look at the, these guys as you approach. Uh, and you see the Supreme Chancellor of Aino, he looks like he's tapping his fingers. He looks annoyed. Uh, and you guys notice a couple glances to the spot on the advisory panel uh, where Teresa is supposed to sit. Uh, and you see, he just looks completely irritated. Uh, like uh, he just, you know, you don't really sense any like uh, any malice or like uh, any hostile intent from him. He, he just looks concerned and annoyed that uh, one of his senators haven't shown up. Uh, the other senators seem to be, Pretty much uh, non-pulsed. Uh, uh, the senator from Alderaan, even Organa, uh, he looks bored. Or he, he looked bored until you saw your kind of senator hovercart come through, and you saw him kind of put on a camera smile uh, and get ready to kind of go into action. Uh, the other two, uh, Orso, just looks to be kind of has his military discipline. He looks kind of straight-backed. Uh, Tell he's a little bored, but he's doing his best not to show it. Uh, it just is kind of ready for everything just to be get over and done with. 
Uh, but uh, you see, uh, you guys are brought in front of the Senate uh, once again. Uh, and Supreme Chancellor Oveno, uh, the Mon Cal leader of the Republic, uh, bulbous eyes kind of look across you all. Uh, and he goes, Thank you all for coming to day two of the hearings. Today we will hear the evidence you have to present, both for the threat that the invaders pose uh, and what any additional information you can uh, provide to indicate that this is a true threat to the Republic who is being besieged by the Sith Dominion uh, who is trying to tear down our very ways of life. The floor is yours. We will have questions. And once we have completed that business, we will have additional inquiries into your actions yesterday during the protest outside our very wall. The floor is yours. The Supreme Chancellor. Well, he, he nods towards you. If I may, because I can feel his smile radiating through his mask, I <laughs> elect our resident Mandalorian to speak first. Uh, before before Vars walks forward, because I'm going to be standing next to him, I'll put my hand on his shoulder and uh, cast temporary boost on him, if that's okay. Or right, we're going to kind of do this low key with uh, the city kind of using the tech on that side, uh, if you want to do it. Ah. I forgot. I think it was a sleight of hand check or stealth check we said. Mm. Well, I'm already committed to it, so sure. But uh, I just put my hand on his shoulder and I, and I say... Get them. Get them, bars. <laughs> well, uh, you, do you guys want to start with uh, our findings or the big reveal? One yeah. second, I want to try something. I'm going to close my eyes and reach out towards Oveno in the force. Is he too far away? Oh, Give him a check. Go for it. All right. Uh, Talus roll, uh, we'll say uh, stealth. On that straight, side. straight wisdom. Uh, with proficiency. Okay. Oh, no. I get that at proficiency. That would be another plus three, so 24. Nice. So, yeah, you've reached out to him. You feel his presence in the force. Uh, you feel kind of uh, within it, uh, kind of a, a weird swirl. Uh, you feel a lot of hatred. Uh, like, he, he'd probably be, uh, you feel he was almost running on hatred. Uh, like you feel it kind of embers of the dark side. You don't feel the dark side itself due to not being force sensitive, uh, but you definitely do feel kind of like splashes of red, but you feel his force presence okay. loud and clear. Something that would definitely have caused a force sensitive to turn to the dark side, but in him, he's not quite capable. Yeah. Like okay. in the KOTOR character mm -hmm. screen, you got the black smoke coming up. Yep. Yeah, the red <laughs> silhouette and everything. Like, mm. uh, he's deeply troubled, but he's safe. Right. I say... Do is do what you need to. Tell me when to unveil this guy, and I'll do whatever you need. Let's go into why the senator is absent today. <laughs> Don't need to tell me twice. All right. Well, I'm sure um, everybody can see that there is uh, one less face here than there was uh, the last time we were together. And I'm sure many of you have questions as to their whereabouts. Well, whatever you're thinking it is, I assure you, it's worse. <laughs> it, you, he's, gonna, uh, he's pausing. He's pausing to see like uh, the, the, the the Supreme <laughs> Chancellor. Uh, uh, you hear kind of across the city killer. hall uh, murmuring. Like uh, you hear, it was pretty like quiet before, but you see kind of all like, in this great city hall with all the various pods of different delegations of the Republic. Uh, you hear kind of murmuring. Uh, it's kind of like the, uh, the back, not background noise, but kind of the loud raucous of a lot of people talking at once. Uh, Oveno's large Moncala Mary eyes go even wider uh, before he leans in, uh, his face taking on a little bit more of a uh, an angrier stance. Uh, and before he speaks, uh, you do see uh, one of the uh, kind of Republic uh, Senate Marshal guards uh, take a look at Talos and say, Please, sir, no technical interference. Uh, we cannot take any risk after the events from yesterday. 
Uh, before uh, anything go forward, though, you see Oveno uh, lean forward, his voice kind of just cold as ice, and he goes, what do you mean by that? You, you aren't involved with the missing senator, are you? Well, when we spoke last, we came to you speaking of a threat that many of you treat it as a joke, a flight of fancy, the uh, make-believe of a bunch of scared, uh, witless soldiers and civilians and, well, I'm not the best at talking, but I'll go ahead and let the footage speak for itself. Uh, Talus will pull out uh, the data card with all the footage on it and uh, turns to the trooper that's with us, maybe, or... Uh, Definitely, the Republic Marshal will come over and grab uh, the data card from you. Uh, he'll kind of uh, go back, uh, see his pod kind of moving back to a standing podium and inserting the data card in. Uh, and on the screen, you guys, uh, you see uh, from... Uh, Probably two different views. Uh, your oh, go ahead. You want to go for it? Oh yeah. Uh, as uh, uh, as he's setting it up, I just kind of want to like start leading into explaining. Uh, well, um, through our own uh, investigation, we were able to determine that the senator was involved in things that none of you were. Well, we hope none of you were aware of. You're gonna. We tracked him down to a warehouse where he was meeting with some of his cohorts for some sort of planning we're not sure the specifics of but well and then with that he'll uh real fast uh caesar's also going to give critical analysis to vars for whatever check or save is about to come up <laughs> <laughs> oh man i guess pick yeah put me as a face let's see how that plays out all right <sighs> Roll your choice of performance or persuasion. You know, actually, um, reaction, hey, no hey. action. I was going to be like, hey, let's burn that inspo, man. Um, uh, oh, yeah, you critical in the house last time, so you can do it. I'll see <laughs> Yeah. Also, uh, if he's within Oof. five feet, I could. Done. Oh. Inspo. Inspo. Two more rolls. Are you okay? I'm gonna refresh the page before I roll the next one. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, have we had the rest? Do we have any defiance right now? Oh, yeah, you, oh, guys have, you had enough time even in the center. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, we got defiance. Okay, <laughs> so defiant. <What's>, uh... <laughs> And I'm going to throw in my own Defiant because uh, let's be real. Then you got the plus four. <laughs> so, a 18. 18. With the entire team carrying me, that's an 18. <laughs> and wait, didn't Talos uh, give me a little, little. Oh, yeah, the D4 did go off of that one uh, before the or D6. Uh, so, you get another D6 to it. I was just leaning uh, and going, huh? Come on. Come on. They just admonished it from doing it again. <laughs> So dirty twenty with the whole team support. So actually, I, uh, Caesar Dash and Talus, how does your help look in this moment as uh, he kind of sets everything up? Chime in, boys, please. <laughs> uh, also, oh. as I as I initially as I initially go forward to kind of like uh, put the data cron um, or the data chip in, and then I just go, oh maybe I'm not supposed to do this. And then I turn to the trooper, but it was all part of my master plan and he takes it. And while he's putting it in, that's when I, I do it again. And I go, you're doing a great job. Ten <laughs> boost. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so dash as a, uh, as far as is saying this, like dash thinks he's just killing it. Like he's just like knocking it out of the park. <laughs> He's he's just rolling with this, and I'm just gonna like punch him on the back of the shoulder. I'm going, yeah, get him, Vars. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna lean in and go, 
Um, yeah, he was meeting his cohorts. <laughs> 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 oh man the the critical analysis from caesar is a couple uh keen words from him just encouragement of just this is your time show them show them and make them learn and for the help action it is a cold it is a cold glare to ev- to everyone in front of him just one eye stock just just yeah. <laughs> piercing him Hell Piercing yeah. eyes, but a genuine smile on his face, like he's so satisfied. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Well, as you guys set this up, support uh, Varza, it is unveiling. The clip begins to play, and a hush falls over the Senate uh, as they see from multiple perspectives your assault on the warehouse within the works on Coruscant. Uh, they see... Uh, the four hooded figures, uh, and within the or the f- six, five hooded figures, uh, in the center, uh, Senator Tree saw, uh, they hear the uh, the, the kind of unintelligible word, or at least to them, unintelligible words, uh, being spoken. Uh, you do notice a few protocol droids in attendance who seem to be rapidly kind of paying attention to the words, uh, and then you see as of uh, the attack goes off uh explosions and explosions like a michael bay flick uh in the warehouse uh just burning everything up uh you see the senator tree saw uh caught in the explosion and for a while like you see a hush you see people like people looking like at you skeptically like uh, you just like admitted to killing a senator and brought your own proof to the courthouse. Uh, but as the explosion rips into him uh, and burns past the fur, the scarred visage of the Yuzan Vong emerges. Uh, you hear kind of a, <gasps> and a lot of people kind of like breathing in, uh, kind of exclaiming. Uh, you uh, <laughs> you people, uh, like you kind of just hear like people talking to each other, so people yelling. Uh, and everybody just seems shocked to see this. Uh, you see, uh, even Oveno kind of leans back, uh, his eyes wide, uh, as uh, the rest of the clip plays out with you guys taking down the other uh, conspirators uh, and kind of uh, the explosions burning off uh, the captive you guys have, Ugloth Mascara, Ugloth Mascara uh, and then uh, eventually you guys taking off his arms. Is that Vars who took off his arm? Oh, uh, yeah. Vars taking off his arms uh, and taking him into custody. Uh, and you, for after the, the clip finishes, the you hear kind of the, the talking carry on for a second, uh, and then silence just reigns. Uh, after uh, seeing the confirmed footage of Teresa being a traitor, Caesar is laughing, he is, he is just <laughs> laughing hysterically, <laughs> madly. All right, um, well, should we a... reveal our guest? Yeah. 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 And for any of you thinking that these are uh, video tricks or some sort of sort of nonsense, we're here to show you the face of your true enemy. Just for a... really, you'll just rip the bag off the top of the guy's head. Yeah. You see. Oh, and he's is he? Do you guys wake him up or is he knocked out? I forget where we were, where we landed on that. I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah, Just like well, takes the bag off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, bag comes off. Mandalorian gauntlet goes fly. Uh, and you see uh, he kind of face shifts. And you see his eyes slowly flutter to life uh, as another kind of a, a wave of excitement goes through the Senate halls. Uh, and you see him look confused at first, uh, but seeing himself surrounded in the Senate with you guys around him, uh, he starts just yelling uh, in Yuzon Vong. Uh, it, you, um, for most of the Senate, it's a completely foreign language to him, uh, but Uli uh, and Caesar, uh, you hear him just yelling, uh, and it goes into Blasphemous! Uh, you all will burn with this galaxy as the Yuzon Vong claim their rightful place. Uh, you see him go, y- glory for you, uh, And Caesar Uli, give me an athletics check as you see him trying to tip himself off of the cart. 
Athletics check. Okay. Team. Thought I had something that helps with this, but maybe I'm. I think with monks, you get to add uh, dexterity to your athletics checks. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So, um, should I just do acrobatics since I have that one? Oh, yeah. It'll be the same thing. Oof. Hmm. We didn't have advantage, right? Didn't have advantage. You each get to roll. And I'm just finding his sheet. Uh, basically, if you got, you just have to just one of you beat him. Uh... My intention was to. Uh... Oh. My intention was to let him mouth off a little bit and then just give him another good, you know, good another another one right in the kisser just for good measure. <laughs> so I don't know if that matters. Uh, if if this helps. Uh, if anyone wants to take a shot, no escape. <laughs> I mean, I did want to get pop in the mouth, so I don't know. Take that how you will. Yep. Try to roll an attack roll, see if you can hit him. All right. So, uh, unarmed attack. And that's just a straight D uh, 20 plus strength proficiency. Yeah, or, uh, plus strength. What was that? Ah, uh, nice. He doesn't have his armor, so that will hit. Uh, you see, he kind of breaks free of uh, Caesar and Uli. Uh, it looks like he's about to take a header down uh, the Kuma Galactic Senate Hall, but you stop him. How does that look? Uh, I guess uh, as he starts to kind of like, you know, try to break free of uh, the grasp that our big, our big tree stalk of a friend here has on him, um, I guess Var sees this and, well, lines up another punch. Bam. I want to say box him to the ground. Can I get a little, a little, a little grandiose with it? Oh, cool. yeah, he had one HP, so go for it. Puts a foot on his back, and uh, as, as he addresses the Senate, says, "You see, together, this former Dominion operative, this current, this current Republic operative, Zerkatex, Mandalorians, we stood tall and came out on top." You will not do this on your own. You see Ovedo's kind of like, uh, his eyes are kind of, you see he's like taking it all in and he looks like he's mo he's like moving to speak. Uh, and you see with a smile, uh, Senator Avid stands up from Alderaan, uh, bangs his head, goes, that is right. These men worked together for the glory of the Republic I think this is a stain upon your chancellorship, Senator Oveno, uh, that you, you allowed... You shut the... Wait, what was the word for... What was the oh, word for... Griff. Griff you yeah. also shut the Griff up. And just a quick intimidation check, just to silence him. Thank you. Uh, 14. I just got something for this. Threaten. An extra D6. All right. Nice. 16. You see, uh, he kind of blanches. Uh, he goes, kind of in a much quieter voice, goes, See, this is a tribe. See, they, they may have done good for the Republic. They brought a true threat. Uh, but so, and you kind of see he's, he's sitting down as he's speaking. It's even quieter as he goes. But uh, the Supreme Chancellor, he just didn't do a good job. Uh, it just kind of sits down. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong. His job. You, sir, you, sir, senators, are the ones who failed. You, sir, denied the truth, kept it hidden from him with your arrogant insinuations that the planet blowing up was nothing more than a farce, and you fed into that to him. You are supposed to be his eyes and ears of the, for the galaxy so he can make the proper decisions and help the Republic. You also try and point to him. No, the previous chancellor was an issue. He is a man of action, and you are stopping him from performing his proper actions. Maybe maybe don't burn all that goodwill. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're we're kind of making that way here, champ. <laughs> you see, Avon looks chastised. He looks like a little bit like uh, he looks like uh, he definitely looks like he's been rebuked. Uh, you see a little bit of like a. Uh, you see, like, not a gleam, but definitely a, 
uh, kind of a keen look in his eye as he kind of sizes you up. Uh, but before he could speak again, uh, you see Supreme Chancellor Oveno stand to his feet. Uh, and he kind of stands, uh, and there's like a little bit of a, little bit of a murmur, uh, and you hear him yell, Quiet! And you see him take like a deep breath, uh, and he goes, Before I begin, first, you have my apologies. I did not consider this to be a true threat. I still consider the Dominion to be a more prolific threat based off the atrocities they have committed, but for them to infiltrate uh, the very Senate itself, its seat, one of their operatives upon our advisory council, they are an enemy that cannot be ignored. You have my word that the Republic will do its duty in rooting out these invaders and finding them. Talos walks forward uh, again to Vars. I think this might be because you you have the other datacron that we got from Lord Galvin. No. With the un uncensored footage. So it's up to you, funny. but Talos will come up. Do you think that this would be a good time for us to share the other footage? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, why not? What's the hell? What's the worst thing? I mean, do, if right? I mean, this is all under hushed, hushed, uh, hushed voices, but <laughs> yeah, uh, he, they think that the Dominion snuck into the Republic and just cold blood murdered a senator, or uh, yeah, and this just proves otherwise. So yeah, um, in general, it, does anybody else want to take the reins on this? Uh, Caesar actually wants to do something quickly before we get into that. Just real fast. Uh, he's going to look to the Chancellor and say, Supreme Chancellor, this threat has been here. We have been informed from some surprisingly legitimate sources that this threat has been here for at least 20 years already. They made themselves known with the destruction of a planet. And it has taken months for the Republic to truly recognize the threat. This is not all on you. This could have been avoided. But now we have the chance to truly avoid any future interruptions from saving this galaxy from the true threats that attack it and threaten the peace. Misa proposed to the Senate to give immediate emergency powers to the Supreme Chancellor. What is the making? Turn his head and look at you like what? No. <laughs> oh yes, did you? Forget it's like poetry. <laughs> it just rhymes. Did not see that coming, but that's did perfect. Did you forget that's Misa not... believes in dictatorship? Please, the dictatorships, the Gunkin. <laughs> of course, he needs to be like, no, give this man supreme power now. G give him emergency power. This is a threat. <laughs> uh, you're going to make a check in a second, but what does the rest of the group do as this goes? <laughs> Uli's too dumbfounded. Like, I cannot believe I am witnessing this. <laughs> Yeah, she's just, just like leaning back on the rail this whole time, including when Vars just decks this guy, and he's just like clapping. Like if he had popcorn, he'd be eating it right now. Um, you're gonna you're gonna sum so some of Vars' reaction to the whole thing. He's just gonna like tilt his head at uh, good old Caesar and just say, "What?" <laughs> I can only imagine like the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. What with that with the doll with the dolly zoom? Wow. Um Talos Talos will come forward and before before he says anything, uh, he's he's like down towards the mic and he turns back to Vars and he's are we going to share this? I mean Yeah, they need to know this thing's real. And it's not just one senator. It's not just one general. They're probably sitting in this room right now, looking at us, thinking how stupid we are. Thinking we, we won. Agreed. That's why Caesar wants to give this man emergency power. So, so well, Talos will more. turn into the <laughs> mic 
And he's like, well, we, before we get ahead of ourselves, and he looks at Caesar, turns back. When you first talked to me, when we first got here, one of the first things that I said was, this is a threat that we would prove is real, and we have. And this is also a threat that I said could not be handled alone by the Republic or by any other singular entity that we all need to come together. And we have something that can prove that need for the galaxy as a whole. And he'll step back and wait for the, uh, the next data card, data chip to be put in. Perfect. Uh, so Talus, roll up your choice of persuasion or performance. Caesar, roll persuasion. All right. Uh, also, a reaction to give the help action for persuasion for Talus. These are both super. You're giving me the help action? Yeah. Uh, uh, if you're within five feet of me, I can still give the help action as a reaction due to my fighting style. Nice. Good thing it's a cramped little center thing. <laughs> Why am I always rolling so low? Can I burn uh, an inspo on that? Yeah, please do. <laughs> is anybody okay with that? Oh, Go for it. it. All right. This is with advantage as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My heart. There's nothing more I can give. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a. <gasps> You see that many of the senators still kind of like murmuring amongst themselves uh, at Caesar's proclamation to give this uh, Supreme Chancellor emergency powers. Uh, and it kind of takes away a little bit from the, the buzz as the clip is uh, initially started. Uh, but as a kind of like for a moment, uh, people are speaking and then eventually kind of come back to themselves uh, or kind of see what's going on and see that the. Uh, another clip with a different viewpoint of the general's assassination. Uh, they see uh, the Lord Galvin stalking into uh, the general's office. Uh, they hear uh, the kind of the exchange between the two. Uh, they see the beetles begin to form. Uh, and as they come up, uh, you see kind of the, the Galvin's lightning fills the screen uh, until you see a grenade soar from the back. Uh, they explode, uh, kind of causing an inferno uh, within the uh, the general's place, but showing that he was uh, another Vong operative on the planet. It looks like Galvin clipped him. Uh, and you hear kind of another hushed silence fall uh, within the group. Uh, and you do actually look and see, uh, like, the senators. Actually, everybody give me an insight check uh, as this goes through. Dang. Actual zero. <laughs> just clapping. Just, just clapping. Just, just yeah. back. <laughs> so, uh, Caesar and Uli, you guys are able to, to pick it out. Uh, the advisory council, they look stunned. Uh, and some of them look frightened. Uh, as this kind of goes that not only was a senator, uh, will they infiltrate the Senate, uh, but they also have Vong uh, warriors within their own army. Uh, and you see that they've just kind of shocked on that side. Uh, they, they seem like the advisor council seems to be like holding their composure, though. You, you guys are able to get a good read on them, but they seem like they're they kind of got the politicians, politician look on, not the smile, but kind of the, the look when they're getting bad news uh, as the, the, they're seeing all this. Other senators, though, that aren't on the advisor council uh, are look shocked afraid uh and many of them are just clamoring uh they are yelling for immediate action they are yelling for uh change they are yelling for uh they're, they're basically just scared yelling for anything that they think could help you saw that action you saw that change <laughs> the threat is already among you it is in, in your media it is in your senate it is in your army it is in the advisory of the supreme Chancellor, but I can guarantee you, sir, I can guarantee you that it is not the Chancellor himself. 
I again propose to give immediate emergency powers to the Chancellor so he can make this right and he can make the decisions to keep the peace in the Republic. Now roll one last persuasion check, Mm Mm-hmm. I'm I'm about to give him a help action. Jeez. (laughs) (laughs) You see, like, many of uh, the advisory council... Uh, even Senator Aiden from Alderaan in particular looks pissed as this goes off. Uh, but you see the advisory council outside of Avon uh, is fairly quiet. Uh, and you see many senators like voting. Yeah. I second the motion to give uh, the Supreme Chancellor emergency powers. And you see it thirded, fourth. Uh, and you see it uh, enough to her to go to a vote. Uh, and Aveno looks, uh, with your inside check earlier, he was the same one. He, 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 he he looks really off balance right now. He did not he, he did not expect anything about this day to happen uh, to be thrown emergency powers or to be uh, or to have traitors in both the army as well as the senate. Uh, he seems like completely on his left foot, but you see him kind of eventually hold up his hands uh, and yell for quiet. Before uh, he, he goes, does that, before he does that, he's just going to point him, Supreme Chancellor, if I may. This you see, he kind of waves towards you. This threat is so large, so massive that even the Dominion, who have closed the borders and stopped their attacks, and we have proved that the, that their dirty bombings were not them. The dirty bombings were not them. Even they have gone beyond their borders to attack the Yuuzhan Vong within Republic space, to weed out infiltrators in the Republic. They see this as a true threat to the galaxy itself, and they have gone so far as to help the Republic in the middle of a war. See him kind of slowly nod and say, we'll hold a vote for this uh, on our next session tomorrow. I believe in the Republic and democracy, but if this body's wish that I take supreme powers... For the duration of this conflict, I will do so with a heavy heart. Uh, but know that you have my word that once this conflict has been resolved, and whether the invaders and all threats within and without of the galaxy brought to heal, I will gratefully return these powers. Says is going to look to the group, and he's going to say this so only they can hear. I love democracy. <laughs> I love the Republic. Um, Do you also I... love the part where he was very kind of cryptic about bringing everyone to heal? Yeah, I think... Did you uh... miss that part? <laughs> no. Yeah. Mm. And you see... Like uh... with gills. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been a Mon Cal yeah, Sith? Because I want to kind of see that now. Ooh. I think so. In Kelly and Nodding, by the way. Yeah. The bars. <laughs> there, oh, there was. There was one in Legends. Uh, the uh, Legacy of the Forest comic, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, but that's not, that doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. I got sidetracked my own brain. Uh, the uh, this Free Chancellor goes, well, that vote may be tomorrow. You do have my word that we are going to assemble an expedition fleet. We're going to send it to the rim in unknown regions uh, and begin hunting for the Yuzan Vong. Uh, this fleet, and you kind of see him lean over uh, and consult uh, with one of his aides uh, who has a data pad in front of them. We'll bring this fleet to bear within three weeks. Uh, and be- at first, begin our hunt at Vela, looking for any signs of their massed positions and working to track down and see what we can learn about this threat. We would be most honored if you all attended the, fl- uh, attended the fleet as our experts on these new invaders. You used to ask the Butcher of the Rim to Butcher the Rim? Of course. He did not look happy about that. Like, uh, his face fell, uh, but you see him just give a very, very, very small nod. Like a, a painfully I, small nod. I, I did it before, and I'd do it again, if you'd ask me. Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. 
as I said before, I do it for you. You see, he's like, you can, you are welcome to attend the fleet. Your efforts for the Republic have been not just noteworthy, uh, they have been outstanding. So we would be honored to have you attend the fleet and obey Republic guidelines, war protocols, as well as our uh, overall military doctrine along with your efforts. So Dash is going to kind of stand forward. Uh, he really hasn't said anything all time. He's going to come and he's go, um, but we have one more order of business, uh, Supreme Chancellor. There's one more person that maybe an apology is owed to. And uh, is General Vet present? <laughs> yeah, he, he's uh, he's down, uh, kind of like, uh, in the, the stands. Uh, you do see kind of everybody turned uh, to his head there. And he, he, kind of, he looked up, and, like he just looked, his jaw like, has been dropped. I don't know if you guys have looked at him before, but his jaw has been dropped pretty much the whole time. And now he looks like he looks completely... Uh, right here, right here, Dash. Uh. Yeah, and so Dash is gonna like, like, for real serious. Like this probably surprises people when he says that. He's gonna point at General Vet, and then he's gonna smile and he's gonna give him a little air, uh, like fist bump in the air. <laughs> you see, uh, Supreme Chancellor Ovedo kind of nod and go, "You're right. We we owe him an apology as well. Him and Master Kalu have been sounding the alarm." the last month. General Vet, you have our deepest apologies. Uh, and you see Vet looks completely surprised. And it takes him a minute to like respond, but he does like kind of slowly like he looks at the sand and does like a fist bump towards you. <laughs> like he surprised even himself with going through it. Uh but uh, and you see, uh, is like uh, kind of the, the crowd is still uh, kind of murmuring. Uh, the last thing Oveno says, uh, you all will have access to public facilities. Feel free to make use of our resources, our training materials, anything that you can to enhance yourself for what is to come. Uh, and he goes, and for that, today's session of the Senate will be brought to an end with a vote for emergency powers held tomorrow. Uh, and you see him just kind of bang the gavel. Uh, and just after that, like chaos, not chaos, but just a clattering erupts, people talking, just uh, murmuring, uh, just everybody kind of just going over the, the crazy news that has gone off. Uh, but your hover car breaks off. Uh, you guys are brought back uh, to the kind of the, the walkway of the Senate. Uh, and we're going to take a quick break there. Uh, what time is it? 8.51. We're going to take a quick five-minute break back at 8.56 uh, and wrap up uh, the next little bit. I'm so happy I got to say the Jar Jar mm -hmm. <laughs> Did not expect that one at all. But if Really? Was... No, I really, I didn't even think of it. Didn't even... <laughs> I've been planning it for so long. So many Palpatine quotes. Oh, my God. <laughs>
welcome back, everyone. Uh, if you saw the first or first two thirds of the day, uh, the group uh, not only convinced the Republic uh, Senate of the threat the Yusan Vong posed, uh, Caesar <laughs> did put a motion aboard to uh, nominate uh, Supreme Chancellor Oviedo for emergency powers and uh, give him a more director, complete control of the, the Republic and the Republic's war efforts. Uh, so with that, you guys were able to uh, get through the Senate hearing. Uh, you made it through uh, to the corridor where you'd see General Vett and Master Kalu uh, waiting on the other side. Uh, and uh, Vett just kind of like, he gives you kind of a, a, a good solid nod and says, never quite know to expect with you guys, but you did good today. You got the Senate moving. Uh, there's a fleet going. Hopefully they'll be able to find what's going on uh, with the Vog. We'll find them uh, and finally bring the fight to them. Uh, I'm just not going to comment on the whole emergency power piece, but uh, it was interesting. <laughs> I mean, that's only with, what, a few days on Coruscant? <laughs> I think we put in some good work. Uh, went from uh, possible the war criminals to leading the charge against the Yusan Fong. Yeah. yeah. From bomb threat to kingmaker, but yeah, all days work, right? Oh. Perhaps. Well, I said I, if you all made it through without getting arrested and I don't see any guards yet, uh, we get a drink. I'll buy you a good Corillian uh, brandy. Uh, and it looks like I am drinking mouthwash alcohol. So, uh, I'll, like it. You. I'll, I'll break into my good stash. Uh, well, better than prison rations. <sighs> Slightly. <laughs> but yes, with that, I drove a vet. Uh, the Bothan Master, uh, Jedi Master Kalu, uh, take you guys to one of uh, the cantinas of the Senatorial District. Uh, definitely uh, bring out the corp or the, actually the, the government card, not the corporate card. Uh, but they definitely cover uh, you guys' drinks for the day uh, and kind of give you guys a good time afterwards uh, for uh, your efforts for both helping clear their own names. Uh, they've been besmirched uh, for by the Senate for pretty much a month uh, after the loss of uh, Planet Velu uh, and uh, the, the Republic fleet. Uh, it definitely kind of put them back in better standing than they had been in quite some time. At Good some team. point, I'd like to uh, try to talk to Master Kalu alone. I mean, not that I don't trust General Vect or the others, but it's for kind of between the between us girls. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, yeah. you definitely ought to be able to get the Bothan Master, and as he usually does, he's got a little kind of uh, curious, uh, someone say curious smile, others would say sly, uh, as uh, he sees you approach, uh, and he goes, oh, Uli, we have not had much chance to speak. It is good no, to meet another one blessed by the, the current of the Force. Yeah, well, sometimes it doesn't feel like a blessing, if you know what I mean. Uh, but that's, that's actually why I wanted to talk to you. Um, we, I mean, we learned earlier how to try to find the Vong in the forest, or rather not find them. And I, I checked out Oveno when we went in there, just because after <laughs> the Senator's deception, who knew, you know, who knows how far this actually goes, but I didn't sense anything that shouldn't be there, but there was a deep well of anger and hatred and just given the sentiments he likes to throw around watch out i i think we all know who the hell he meant when he meant inside our galaxy and outside of it and he's not gonna people like him don't stop with the dominion they don't he'll he'll be watching over his shoulder his entire life and that means everybody's suspect at some point and if it's up to him to give the power away, well, I don't trust him to do it. But just be careful. I fear you may be right, my friend. 
Not so much about giving the power away. If Ovena was a different man, he'd have he's earned, he's earned my respect, uh, but he's also earned my wariness. He's a military man. He's competent. Uh, and outside of uh, the brief spat with you all, where he did not listen to reason about the invaders, blinded by his own hatred, uh, he's been a steady hand at the Republic. But he is blinded by his hatred. Uh, the Sith have done unspeakable horrors to his homeworld, and he wishes to free it and free the galaxy from not just the Sith, but its other Force users as well. So we will we will be wary of him. We will be watching him. Uh, but it does it, it does bear noting that well, this may be good for the war effort. That could be dangerous for the galaxy at all. That's what I'm afraid of. He is a military man, and he's pragmatic. If the terms of us winning is all the Force users going away, he'll do it. I could see that happening. And... Uh, I don't fear you. Is he's a threat to democracy, though. He One thing I will say is he does truly believe in the Republic's tenets. But it is likely that he will try to twist democracy in ways that it probably shouldn't to push through his his undying, unending hatred of uh, the Force users, Jedi and Sith alike. Well, let's just say I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. I sit in the lab all day and listen and feel plants, so I wouldn't well, exactly trade our situations, but yes. You see Kalu's kind of smi uh, smile, definitely kind of switch from a little bit curious to definitely completely sly. Uh, and he goes, well, my friend, this is not the first time the Jedi have been on the outs of the Republic. Uh, while I have decided to stay with the military, say so the Jedi are preparing in case we have more enemies in the Dominion. Well, that's good. And especially, I know the Republic's shunted you aside, but I mean, people of the galaxy know what a Jedi is. They, they may never have seen one, but the instant the lightsaber comes out, you know damn well they all know who the hell you are. And maybe they need to see that. Just if things start looking bleak and they know somebody who always had their backs is still having their back, that might be something that turns the tide and will prevent if we can keep public support on the Jedi side. Maybe that anything Oveno even does try to do would just not be worth it to him. You see, you're not. And that is why prior to Vela and, and still onwards, I I guess, I tried to stay visible and within the Republic. Uh, most of my other fellow Jedi have uh, surrendered their post and uh, gone on to other actions against the Dominion or other fronts and on their own. Uh, but I thought it best to continue along with the Republic and keep ourselves visible that the Jedi was still assisting, even with the Chancellor doing his best to push us out. Well, I know we all appreciate the assistance. Speaking of, the Chancellor did say that we'd have access to Republic training facilities, and, uh, well, I can't, I'm not going to say these other guys aren't capable fighters, but... I have that extra special something, and I was wondering if you might, I mean, maybe run through a few things, help me out there. Uh, I mean, see, I'm not asking you to teach me how to use a lightsaber or anything. I don't, I don't need one of those. I'm, I'm, I don't even really like fighting, but I do it just. You sometimes you have to, you got to get that practice in too. So, but either way, being able to help myself or somebody else that might give us the edge we need. You see him kind of uh, give a, a, a short bow. He says, of course, uh, I'd be more than happy to assist you with uh, training and some of the Jedi's martial forms that we can impart. Uh, it's, I found that through physical action, it sometimes allows a deeper connection to the Force. So I'd be happy to pass on what I may. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll pass over a data card with his information. <laughs> Just let me know when you're available. Of course. Thank you. May the force be with us both. 
May the force be with us in the galaxy. I fear we shall need it. You said it. It's like now I let's go get a drink. <laughs> Try to forget the last how long were we here? <laughs> we're I here am, like three days. Three days, yeah. The worst <laughs> time of our life. Oh, yeah, so you uh you go back to the group, uh you see uh General Vet uh like just like I, he's got like two glasses in front of him. Uh, he's got like one that has like just like a regular curly looking whiskey, and he's got his uh, mouthwash uh, the other hand. And he, gets, he raises his mouthwash up and passes over the glass uh, to Caesar with the whiskey and waves the droids to, uh, to hand the rest of the crew a whiskey. Uh, and he goes, To you, Griffiths. Uh, he kind of throws his drink up and chugs down. Oh, actually, what is in this mouthwash thing? Is it just like, what is it? It is the good stuff. This is like 10 out of 10 dentists would recommend stuff. Uh, definitely alcohol-based, but a little bit of uh, flair added by Caesar uh, to just make it a bit, even a bit more alcoholic. <laughs> uh, you see, like, uh, you, you, he chugs it, or like, 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 downs it like a shot. I uh, sort of see he didn't expect it to be like super alcoholic. Uh, he thought it'd be more wild washy than alcoholic. Oh, uh, yeah, you see, it's uh, 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 good. Switch it around a bit. You uh, already swallowed, didn't you? Uh, swallowed it already, but, but my mouth's uh, uh, minty fresh, I guess. Uh, you'll get hooked. Uh, and you see, he goes. Uh, I'll take your word for it, but uh, I, I owe you guys. So uh, maybe I, not for the I, that was my one for the day. But next time we get a drink together, I'll do another one of your mouthwash things. Brave man. Right. Go leads back and goes. So you guys are coming with the fleet in three weeks. Uh, what, what's what are y'all doing next? What's uh what's going? What do y'all have a uh, brewing in the meantime? Well, for myself, I've noticed quite the power vacuum. I intend to, fi to fill it. The Republic did lose a general. I'll see how far I can go. Uh, you, you can't see him slowly now. Such signs from the moon, don't you? <laughs> yes. Good for you, I guess. The rest of us, or at least myself, I'll be training. Got to figure out ways to fight these guys. Got to figure out uh, something more about them. Oh, they've got weird technology. I feel I don't know. There's got to be something we can we can start learning about them, put this stuff to use, or at least start to recognize it better. Counter some of the things they've got. I mean, they they burn down an entire like. Almost like it, not even mini fortress inside of a few minutes. On cash it. That was that was something to behold. That's why they didn't find a trace of it. It was gone. I mean, it it went up in front of our eyes. Like it wasn't even never even existed. The things we could do with this. I mean, think of all the planets that have been destroyed by us. Our waste and. The wars that we fight, and I mean, is Malachor even inhabitable at this point? Think of all the planets out there that are just wasted, we could we could actually reclaim some of these places. I don't know. I feel like there's got to be some sort of connection we can make, and I guess that's what I'll do. Look for something to try to bridge the gap. I'm just glad we're taking the fight to them for once. You see uh, Vet kind of uh, pounce on the table at that. Here yeah, for that. I'm tired of them blowing shit up under us and attacking us and stealing our colonies. Time we put something up to them for once. Uh, it would be nice to get them on the defensive. Make them shake in their... Do they have boots? They have steam. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> a lot of yeah, bare feet. Kind of weird. Well, they'll shake something when we're done with them. 
I, I don't know. I seem to like the way you handle those last ones. Blow them up to the discharge husk. Uh, do that enough, and even those crazy bastards have to say, hey, wave the white flag. I don't think they're the white flag type of people. Uh, so we just got to kill them all. Oh, no. My <laughs> heart. Uh, genocide. <laughs> My old passion. Hey. The way they're playing it, it's them or us. I say it's Everyone else have a hobby. <laughs> yeah. Why does hobby always have to be genocide, though? Like, <laughs> My hobby is genocide. Everyone's dentistry. hobby ends up being genocide. My hobby is dentistry. My job is genocide. I mean, could you really see this lot integrating? I mean, not peacefully, but... No. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to want blood wherever they go. They hate droids, they hate technology, and, well, everybody in this table uses it one way or another. So, it's them or us. Hmm, like that looks... Yeah. You see kind of Vet stays... He doesn't say anything on the side, but you kind of see slight nods and agreement towards that. Uh, where Kalu, uh you see, interjects and goes... My friends, there's always a deal that can be made. There's always a path that does not involve an extinction of a people. Uh, we must trust the Force and trust in ourselves to find that path. The Sith. Well, I mean, these guys don't even have the Force in them, so uh, and now you're going to trust that. <laughs> no, 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 one moment. Master Jedi, the Sith, your response we have converted even the worst of Sith back to the light. Axar Khan, uh, one of the tyrants of the Sith, was brought back. Lord that's Revan. Not, that's not what you said. You converted them, yes? So they weren't Sith anymore. I mean, the Jedi and the Sith living, let's say, peacefully. No conversion. There's a deal for that. A way to not wipe them all out. Actually, give me a persuasion or intimidation check with that one. I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, uh, I want to go intimidation, but what this does this feel more like persuasion? Uh, what do you say, Tegan? That kind of depends how you want to put the argument to him. I can more of a friendly because it's definitely not like you're trying to scare him. Uh, but it kind of depends if you're putting it in a more forceful way and trying to like kind of browbeat him with it, or uh, more trying to convince him of what you're thinking. Hmm. Oh. I'll go persuasion uh, for this. So an eight. Can I give him a hand? I'm curious because uh, I I'm just gonna th uh, just throwing in the fact that like. Mandalorians at one, we'd all be Mandalorians forever ago, and well, this whole conversation would be kind of moot. Is that kind of genocide, or I don't know? It is. It is the destruction of ideas. Of course, some survive the integration into the conquering civilization, but it is annihilation. Sweet. So, yes, he's give another roll of that. 14. You see, Kalu kind of pauses to think for a moment. Uh, and you could you can definitely tell no insight roll needed. He he respects you guys, so he definitely gives you kind of a, he considers your arguments. Uh, but he goes, "But my friends, the difference is that if the Mandalorians, if they conquered the world or the galaxy, you would not have a choice. You'd be Mandalorian or you'd be dead. Axar Khan, Revan, all of these redeemed were given the choice." They could have, Revan could have lived out his days. Uh, Axar Khan uh, could have uh, lived out his days without the Force as well, but both of them chose to turn back to the light. Ah, yes, I remember this choice. It's one I myself am very familiar with. Join or die. They it would have been imprisoned, but they had committed great crimes against the galaxy. But I am a scholar. I, I myself am very interested in theology, so I've looked into the Jedi and the Sith, and I know the story of Revan, someone you just brought up. 
tell me again, why did Fervin join the light? What was it that the Jedi did to him when he was captured? They cleared his mind, allowed him to re-see the light. You wiped his memory. I've seen the Sith do that. You see Kalo, okay, look at him now and goes, that is true. His memory was wiped. But in doing so, we allowed him to return to himself that he was truly was. Uh, a hero of the Republic and Knight of the Order. But you did give us something that we sh should consider. And I will meditate on what you have said to see if maybe there is some truth that maybe we should try to find a way to coexist. But know my thoughts. Uh, you've served among the Dominion. You've served... Among Sith Lords, there's no coexisting with them. There is bowing down or die. And we cannot allow the hand of the Sith to oppress the galaxy no more than we can allow these invaders to oppress. Well, what you've said, I do believe is true. There is only join or die. Join the Republic or die. Join the Dominion or die. But... You have forgotten one thing. Something brought up earlier. Not quite conversion. Union. To be brought together for the annihilation of both to make one greater whole. It's something that, if I remember correctly from the stories, Revan himself wasn't able to do. He is more consumed by one dark, one light. But would you imagine it? What the Republic and the Dominion would look like if they were one. What the Sith and Jedi would look like if they were balanced, dark and light. Purple lightsabers are as the standard color. Hmm. Dash kind of chimes in. <clears throat> and he goes, yeah, I clearly see the distinction between the Dominion and the Republic. I mean, the Dominion says bow or die. And then the Republic says, bow or go to prison and lose your freedom. And he goes, but we should we call it mercy. <laughs> Dash, you are There's... wise beyond your years. There is one thing you're forgetting. <sighs> the Republic doesn't just march into your home and demand you join or die. The Dominion does. Oh. The Republic will fight against people who fight them and tried to do harmful things and tried to stop them. And when they do, then you get the choice, join or go to jail Only? because you did crimes and that's why you're going to jail. Only you the Dominion dash. burns down your Criffin home, whether dash you made the decision or not. <laughs> Uli, you live around the mid out of the, up in the north. So uh, you are somewhat free to say that I was more towards the east and the south, near hut space. What you say is not true. They, in the Republic, you are free. It's the main selling point. If you do ill, they take away your freedom. But as a free person, you are free to be stepped on, to starve, or to step on, or to cut, or to, well, devour. And I mean devoured by the allies of the Republic. The huts brought into their slave markets. You so understand? Dash. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Dash just kind of chuckles, and he goes, you know grew up an orphan and the, the republic came in and they swept in with their fancy suits and their high speech and they saw all these poor orphans who were starving and homeless and, and needed assistance and they said well you can always join the military and then they left and that was their choice Did they kill you when you decided not to join the military? No. Oh my, they Star. might as well have. Do you not understand? You grew up on a lush planet. I... Many of us did not. Many of us had to fight and survive. We did not get the luxury of labs or bright families with nepotism or the corruption <laughs> working in our favor. We had to fight. 
I mean, hell, the Republic squatted on Mandalore for hundreds of years. It wasn't until uh, the Minion and the Mandos joined up and kicked them off. We got our home back. I don't know. I mean, I I never understood why uh, why Mandalore decided to part ways with the uh, Dominion. I thought we were a pretty good team. Imagine if it was a ball. Well, the Mandalorians don't like someone telling them to join or die, do they? I can guess what Dominus said to Mandalore, and Mandalore gave him his answer. Die. Yeah, well, eh, hell, the, the way they went about it is they, you know, they conquered a good chunk of the galaxy and then, oh, hey, we got what we wanted. And that's, we're going to renege on our deal. That never sat right with me. Nothing I mean, to me. Yeah, because, I mean, hell, before, uh, before, you know, Dominus came along, we were all scattered, doing a whole lot of nothing, taking money where we could. And then we were unified with one goal. It was nice. I mean, sorry, but, you know, you're planning it all, but... <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I, I don't like burning planets down. Not my thing. Well, I guess that's my point. No one really likes that, but one, one side very clearly tries to do it as a point of order, and the other side tries not to do it, even though they are you know, prone to screwing up and making mistakes. Or having that one the lone bad actor in the, their midst, but Ooh, you they can't tell when someone has the drive to kill you versus simply you're an annoyance and you're in their way and they don't want to deal with you. They're two very different things. Well, I've seen the results of both. Ooh, they, I was I there to the planet. Thing. The Republic is the reason why it burned. Oh, they dropped the bombs on it? That was their fault? They attacked the Dominion, which caused us to respond. With join or die. In which no, with quite, quite frankly, just die. I mean... So no choice at all. And yes. then I was shipped off to the Cathol Rift. Have you ever, uh... When's the last Down time that a planet... The when's the last time a planet tried to secede from the Grand Old Republic? I don't know. All, really of this, lore. Uh, all this talk of politics, I swear that is both bright red and pale at the same time. Oh, yeah, take another shot. Throughout this vet is just like, he, he looked angry for a second, but then like he's been ordering shots. Like he's just been, uh, he, he's decided not to fight with you all about all this craziness and he's just, he's, gonna, he's just getting drunk. He's just getting... <laughs> let the Tal, table. Talus is sipping on the same beer that he's had since arrival and, um, he does not come from any low uh, beginnings, horrible backgrounds, nothing sad, you know? <laughs> um, so he's really got nothing to contribute outside of his, he's got a decent knowledge of the history and the things that have been mentioned, probably probably less so on the, um, the Sith and Jedi side, but politics in general and just the comings and goings of the various empires and again the politics, but um, yeah, he's just a casual observer right now. And once you guys start talking about science and get on his level, maybe. Yeah, so that will just ask like a red like, uh, how does hyperspace work? <laughs> like just like a clear subject change uh, as he looks over to Dallas and and he goes, "Is that your first?" <laughs> Ah, yes, I'm not, um, not a very big drinker. Uh, at at this not... point, Vards has the helmet off, and he's just, he's getting kind of sloshed himself. And he's going to just look over and be like, just, come, come on, Talus, that, that, that spent less time with the cap on it, man. Just come on, keep going. And, uh, yeah, also be like, okay, I'll... Try to finish this one and 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 make you proud, bars. But he he is probably getting a little bit because he doesn't drink much. He's probably getting a little tipsy for sure. I just want to let it be known. I love the Republic. I just believe it and know that it's horribly corrupt and requires a bit of maintenance to make it the best it can possibly be. So here's to the Supreme Chancellor and his new emergency powers. 
<laughs> you see Vet actually drinks to that. Uh, Caleb's glass stays on the ground for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll do the like emptying the last of the swill to the side. Ta- yeah, Ta- Talus will raises raises glass and then just kind of be like, okay. <laughs> but with that last gulp, he's gonna look at Vars and be like, "Kid, can I try on your helmet?" <laughs> <laughs> Griffin. I'm um, yeah, whatever. He's like, he'll give it to him. He's drunk too. Okay, might, be a little, like, might be a little big. He like puts it on and he's like, oh, oh, hold on. And he takes it back off and he takes off his uh his his uh uh sunshades that he carries around with him and uh he puts it on. Wow. Huh. This is, <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> <laughs> Does my voice sound different? Yeah, you, you sound you halfway intimidating. Is my, is my head smaller than yours? Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, you get, you know, you got a big brain and all, but. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. I definitely think I need another drink. So remember to take off the helmet before you put. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and oh. Let him, let him just shut, shut the hell up, Caesar. <laughs> yeah, he, he takes it off. Uh, I mean, come on, if if you can break it with a drink, then it's not worth the steel it's made out of, man. Come on. I just imagine how awkward it looked like wearing a Mandalorian helmet with my getup that I wear. It does not match. Uh, so Dash starts looking around the table goes who's up for a drinking game i got a great one i just i, I made it up yesterday and i'm really excited to share it yesterday yeah. when you were on the run <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what i have time to think oh yeah. yes yes go ahead Dave. yeah so he's gonna take out of his pocket a hand mode charge put it in the middle of the table and he's gonna like set it for 20 seconds and he goes first one to let go drinks <laughs> Like, just start looking around. Caesar Who's puts his stump on there. <laughs> uh, so, so we do what exactly? You don't put our hand on it. Yeah, yeah. Put your hand on it. You just you just hear this. It's just like beeping down. Just beep. beep. No, 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 no. Just... Quick, 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 hand. First one, first oh. one to let go loses. A me see... slap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a fucking bomb. Boom. <laughs> Uh, Talos will go last because uh, it seems the more layers, the more protection that he has. So. <laughs> Logic, right? He, he puts At least hand sandwich hand. in between all the hands now. He's stuck. Yeah. So you see Kalu like, raise his hand like a tab, please, to one of the droids. And Matt like, like, really starts have. to reach forward with his hands and Kalu's like, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Yes, was that 20 minutes or 20 seconds? Varge is going to... Uh, Dallas Varge is recording all of this. <laughs> Varge is going to go ahead and wave the, the, the waiter or waitress or waiter droid, whatever the case may be. Uh, another another round of uh, sh- shots. <laughs> so the waiter comes around, another round of shots. Are you uh, So, is it a, a live explosive, I should ask? Yeah. Are you guys? What are you guys doing? We're all gonna find out. I can't leave. I'm in the middle <laughs> on the of next this episode. episode of... <laughs> oh my god! What, so Caesar's not gonna take his stump off of there. So like, who's taking the hand off first? Because we we got like ten seconds to find out. So like the way I play drinking games is, you know, if you lose, you drink. If you win, you drink anyway. He's going to throw one back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point, right? T- Talos will follow suit. He, he drinks as soon as the next uh, shot arrives. And he goes, oh, wait, does that mean I lost? I'm so confused. No, brother. <laughs> Everybody wins. Ah. What are we doing again? <laughs> That's we all know your explosives will. This is the power of the sun. <laughs> Yeah, and so he'll he'll let it get down. Like you can tell, it's starting to click zero, 
and he'll turn it off. And he's like, Commander, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have let it go now. <laughs> like, that is like, he's pretty drunk at this point. Kalu looks extremely relieved. Uh, he goes, ah, thank you for turning it off. I couldn't imagine getting cleared by the Republic just to have an explosive go off at a bar and have to answer for them again. So Good. That reminds me of the last time a joke went wrong around me. Oh, not the recent one. When I first joined the Republic, you see this blind eye stock of mine. That uh, I actually had both eyes in the Dominion. This wasn't from a shot or anything. Uh, I I can't remember. Was it you? Someone told me, prove your allegiance to the Republic. And they were joking. I didn't know. Prove your allegiance to the Republic. Give me your eye. And I snapped it. And I was going to pull it off and hand it to him, and he stopped me. It's funniest, funniest pull do I, I've, I've, I've seen. Well, I don't see anymore. You see that? Yeah, yeah I, was, I, I read that in the report. Uh, Talos just bursts out laughing now because <laughs> it's funny to him for some reason when you're talking about your eye and the, the joke. Uh, I can fix that, you know. <laughs> I had no cybernetics. None. <clears throat> I'm not the droid. Oh. oh, man. Damn, Dash. You got the Jedi Master worry, man. He's going <laughs> to ru- He's. <sighs> Vars is sloshed. Vars was sloshed <laughs> at the beginning of the drinking game. He's going to, like, ruffle the Bothan's fur, like, on his head. <laughs> He he looks like he, he looks like he kind of like he swats your head away and like he, like he you see like he, he looks irritated for a second before you take it seems like a deep breath uh, and Ula you can feel the force kind of like you reaching out to the force for calm uh, and he goes uh, no <laughs> <laughs> all right I'm sorry I I get grabby when I'm drunk hey he's gonna. <laughs> do that gesture and not say anything just like hope that the waitress feels him through the force and uh, <laughs> over another one a waiter or waiter droid i forget but which he still has his hand in the mid- in the middle of the stack of hands <laughs> did we win i'm so confused did we win or lose it's it's all it's all foolie it's all yeah. oh, oh, we're, okay. we're, we're oh. gonna win soon when we take down the damn vong Oh, yes. oh, don't, right. don't I'll take this last one and then I'm done. <laughs> after the Vong is the Dominion, after the Dominion it starts. So I, I look over at that and I say, you got this covered, right? You, you, you covering drinks? I, I saw the Republic tonight. <laughs> he goes, yeah, okay, one more round and then uh, let me take a bottle of that to go. You see, that guy just shrugs uh, and Caleb goes... Expense reports are going to be murder. <laughs> oh, murder. Yes, yes. It's speaking of that. Yes, you, you shall come with me for a moment to this corner. <laughs> so he looks very confused, but he'll go. Uh, and once they're to the corner, so he's just going to sober himself up by punching himself in the nose real hard. And no, just... She doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> ah, Jesus. British Dash. I wanted to know what you also thought, now that you've had some time and some drink, about what we talked about earlier today. And this is away from everyone. Yeah, so um, at this point, Dash, uh, Dash has had a few drinks, so he's a few, few in. He just kind of nods. He goes, we made the right decision. That is good to hear. Follow me. You will go far and change will happen in the Pampic and I will make sure that you are recognized. Nods. And then he looks back at the table. Is Uli still got his hand on the, the explosive? <laughs> he, yeah, so he like kind of nods to Caesar and looks and goes like, Uli, that's, that's a live... Live, get your hand off it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. He didn't say we were done. <sighs> Do I win? Yeah, I guess Uli wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, everybody else is either drinking uh, Talos of ours or away from the table with Dash and Caesar. So, uh, Uli, all right, bottoms up. Craig's at home. Uh, and with uh, their public credit card, you guys are able to drink a probably a ridiculous sum of uh, of liquor, <laughs> beer, ale, wine, whatever, mouthwash, uh, whatever uh, the credits can buy uh, with uh, within a uh, Coruscant's Cantinas. Uh, that's where we'll end the session today. Uh, so I'm going to put it into the uh, the chat. There'll be a couple different options you guys can pursue. Uh, it's three weeks until the uh, well, one week will be uh, both your downtime as well as your training time with the Republic. Uh, so you have one week and kind of spend on whatever you want to do with that uh, on top of getting your training with the Republic. Uh, but you definitely have time for another adventure between uh, making your way towards the expedition uh, with the Republic fleet. Uh, so you know about one of the options a little bit, Saber Breaker, uh, which is kind of one of the options you guys can pursue, but there'll be a couple other ones as well. Uh, it kind of depends on which way you guys want to go. Perfect. I will wrap up there. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, make sure to come through uh, next Tuesday, same time, for uh, Stranded uh, with uh, Keith DMing. So come through and hang out with the crew on that side, see what we get up to. Uh Oh, actually, I do have something for January. Uh, January, uh, Monster, or not Monster, Monster of the Week uh, is our game of the month. So uh, check our YouTube. There'll be some more videos on that side. Uh, and then with our game, uh, we're switching games of the month from Wednesday to Thursday. Uh, so it'll always be the last Thursday of the month. So January 26th uh, is we'll be playing. So come through, hang out with us on that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining us. I don't think I have any friends online, so we'll just wrap up and see everybody next time.